Hello, this is the video tutorial for making the light switch plate. So, after you have traced out your light switch plate, measured all of the dimensions from your light switch plate you currently have, and have drawn out the, the whole diagram, then it's time to get started on the light switch plate drawing. The instructions for this are in the resource section of the SOLIDWORKS folder in the switch plate folder. So I'm going to start a new part, and we're going to want to make sure we're in IPS, and I'm going to start this um, by going to my features tab, extrude boss base, front plane. I'm going to get a center rectangle, draw that out, and I am going to do another center rectangle. Make sure you don't snap to these diagonals. If you snap to those yellow diagonals, that's, that's bad. You're going to add a reference you don't want, so snap up there. And uh, you should be all blue. And let's go ahead and smart dimension these holes. So the width of this smart dimension the sketch. So the width is going to be 2.950. Not quite sure what numbers you got, but use your numbers, not necessarily mine. Um, the height is 4.5. Nope, 4.7. Whoops, snapped to the wrong thing there. 4.7. Okay, and the height of this one, the center rectangle, is 0.955. The width of this one is 0.425. Okay, so I'm all blue, purple arrow. And extrude boss base. In the instructions, it tells us that we need to extrude boss base to uh, 0.2 inches thick. Okay. Now you notice that the dimensions didn't show up um, with the three decimal places that you probably put in. So in order to get those to show up, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Options, Document Properties, Units, and length, we're going to change the decimals from 0.12 to 0.123. And then now you'll notice that they're displayed with three decimal places, regardless of whether there's a zero or not. Okay, so that is the base of our light switch plate. Now let's go ahead and put our holes in. So I'm going to do an extrude cut on the front surface. And I am going to draw a circle. I am going to smart dimension that circle. And I'm going to smart dimension it to 0.185. And uh, that circle, from the center of the circle to the top of the uh, switch hole, the distance there is 0.7125. And I'm going to set a uh, vertical relation between the center point of that circle and the origin. There, now I'm fully defined. And I'm ready to extrude cut that hole. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mirror. Mirror face plane is going to be the top plane. Features to mirror, cut extrude 1. There we go. Okay. So uh, my next step is I am going to extrude a 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.125 thick border on the back of the switch plate using center rectangles. Okay, so it'll look something like that. So I'm going to go to my rear view. So this is the back of the light switch plate. I'm going to do an extrude boss base, select the back surface. I'm going to grab the center rectangle tool, and I'm just going to snap to the outside corner. I'm going to do another center rectangle tool, but this time don't snap to anything in particular. Now we want the distance between the edges here to be uh, point 0.2. And we 
want the distance between this edge here to be 0.2. Okay, so now we have a 0 0.2, 0 0.2 border on the back of our light switch. We're going to extrude boss it 0.125. Okay, so green check mark. Alright, and now uh, our next step is we're going to fill it all the vi edges visible from the front. And we are also going to fill it the edges on the inside. And that's to give it some strength since we're going to be filleting out here, it's going to lose some strength, so we're going to add a fillet on the inside here to give it back. Okay, so uh, fillet, features tab fillet. We are going to make our fillets 0.125, so an eighth of an inch. Go select the inside corners on the back. <coughs> Remember, if you don't see your preview, select full preview. Uh, I selected the surface there originally because uh, I realized that if I selected the surface then all these corners will get selected but then the problem with selecting the entire surface was that then it put a fillet around these inside holes so we don't want to select the entire surface we'll select each edge individually okay and before you approve it just give it a quick twist around to make sure that all the edges are selected and that they all look okie dokie all right, they look good. Green check mark. Okay, there's our fillets. All right, and now we have to put the chamfer. Whoops, go back to your front view. Put the chamfer in around the holes. So we're going to go chamfer. We're going to make it 0.05. And go ahead and select the screw holes. Green check mark. There we go. All right, nice. Okay, and then the last thing we are going to do is we are going to extrude cut our last name onto the back side of the plate using the text tool in the sketch tab. And that's something you guys haven't used before. So uh, change to your rear view. Whoops. And we're going to go to features tab, extrude cut, select the back surface. Grab the text tool here and go ahead and type in your last name on the left. and then just click somewhere to place it. Oh, and your last name should all be in caps. It'll print better that way. And make it bold. No, don't make it bold, because um, we're going to extrude cut it. So don't make it bold. Uh, but we do want to increase that font size. So what we'll do is we'll uncheck Use Document Font, click the Font button, and we can change the points select points not units select points and let's change to 18 and see what that looks like yeah that that looks good looks mr. good good uh -huh, uh -huh. okay so um, center it there um, you don't want it over either the screw holes or the rectangle hole uh, but you do want it um, somewhere on that part um, you know maybe even at the top would be good centered at the top would be a good spot that way it won't weaken the material here so yeah definitely put it up at the top or put it down to the bottom if you put it here it's going to extrude cut away a quarter of the material so I would make it weaker so put it at the top um, and then that way you shouldn't have any strength issues okay so uh, green check mark purple arrow and then it'll extrude cut the depth of this make sure you put 0 0.05 we don't want to go any deeper than that. Shallower would probably actually be even better, but I, th I think 0 0.05 should be good. Green check mark. Okay, and then zoom in on it and rotate to make sure that it looks all right. All right.
Alright, well there it is. That is the video tutorial for how to make a light switch plate in SOLIDWORKS.